Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem six in chapter six. In this one, we need to find the effective value of this g um, at its, at a distance above the Earth's surface. So in this one, we can say the, we can assume the object is there. Okay, a distance above the Earth's surface. So in this one, the radius r should be the Earth the radius of the Earth plus this h. The height, right? The distance above the Earth in two cases. See, the difference is a unit. This is meter. This is kilometer. But no much difference when we do this calculation. So in this one, the radius for the object do this uh, country, con do this uh, central motion. It's just uh, the radius of the Earth plus the distance above the surface of the Earth. Do you agree? Yes. Then we look at how can we find the effective value of the g. In this one, we consider the model. How can we decide the g at the surface of the Earth? So we consider universal um, gravitation force equals mass times acceleration. Do you agree? Yes. So this r becomes the uh, radius of the Earth plus the distance above the surface of Earth. In this way, we can get the g equal to the capital G. This is a constant times the mass of the Earth divided by r squared. After we input the number inside, you can see we can get a g in two cases, right? And you can see as uh, this distance increases, this g decreases quickly. Thank you.